question number seven a the time a man takes to paint a room alone is an hour less than the time his apprentice takes to paint the same room if both of them takes 72 minutes to paint the room find a time that the apprentice takes to paint the room alone so let's tackle the a part we can organize the detail like this if the apprentice takes x then the man will take x minus one and working together both of them will take 72 minutes converted to hours is six over five then the rate at which they are working is one over x one over x minus one and five over two when we put it together we get five over two so when we add a rate at which they are working together one over x plus 1 over x minus 1 it should give us 5 over 6 so this is what we are going to solve we multiply through by the LCM which is 6x into bracket x minus 1 so now we can cancel we have 5x outside when we expand we get 5x squared minus 5x then again, we can cancel this. We are left with 6x. Then we are left with 6 into x, which is 6x minus 6. So we can now group like terms and write in standard quadratic equation form. So when we do that, we are obtaining 5x squared minus 5x minus 12x plus 6 and this can be simplified to obtain 5x squared minus 5 minus 17x plus 6 now the product 5 times 6 will give us 30 two factors of 30 that will add up to negative 17x will be negative 15 minus negative minus 2 so we split the middle term when we split the middle term, we get 5x squared minus 15x minus 2x. We can now quickly factor and simplify. So when we collect the factors, we have x minus 3, 5x minus 2 equals 0. So either x minus 3 equals 0 or 5x minus 2 equals 0. So we are supposed to get x minus 3 equals 0, so x equal 3, or x equal 2 over 5. But the value solution here is x equal 3, because when we subtract 1 from 3, we still get 2. And when we subtract 1 from 2 over 5, we get a negative value. Therefore, it takes the apprentice 3 hours to complete the painting. The B part of question number seven, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from the top of a building, five meter high is 30 degrees. If on the horizontal ground, the building is 40 meters away from the foot of the tower. Illustrate the information in a diagram. Calculate correct to three significant figures, the height of the tower. So we can illustrate this information like this. So, this is the building. The top of the building is B, and the top of the tower is T. So, it was given the question that the height of the building is 5 meters. Let the height of the tower be H, H meters. Then, this portion will be H minus 5 meters. We're also, given that this is 40 meters because it is 40 meters away from the foot of the tower and the angle of elevation is 30 degrees so with this we can form an equation using the tangent ratio which will help us to solve for h so we have tan 30 equal opposite over adjacent which is h minus 5 over 40 so we cross multiply we multiply through by 40 then we can find the decimal equivalent of tan 30 which is 0 0.5774 and when we multiply this 
we will obtain 23.09401. We now solve for H to get 23.09401 plus 5, which is 28.09401. To, to three significant figures, we obtain 28.1 meters.